Well, first of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to talk today and I appreciate your interest in my experience. So my cybersecurity journey started about uh, 20 years ago uh, when I joined the telecom industry. Um, most of the work I was doing was in data technologies and networking. And I got my hands on a firewall and access control list on the router. That's where the interest started. During my career, I took several roles uh, in technology, in process leadership, in project management. And, uh, you know, as a cybersecurity professional, you not only need to evolve in your technical skills, but also your business skills, your process skills, your people management skills. So throughout the journey, I uh, kept on picking up some interesting le uh, lessons, had the opportunity to work with very senior leaders uh, in the IT uh, space. And uh, about, I would say, seven, eight years ago, I made a conscious decision to focus only on cybersecurity itself. Um, I improved my certifications and uh, I got uh, some senior leadership roles in the cybersecurity organization. And that's after that, I just kept uh, taking more major steps in my cybersecurity journey. So, you know, as you are progressing in your career, uh, there's a lot of focus on process, on people management, on project management, you're deploying new technology. As a cybersecurity professional, uh, it becomes, especially in leadership roles like risk management, head of compliance, head of security, it becomes very important that you stay in touch with the latest trends in cybersecurity. So the, uh, as part of my certification, the certified ethical hacker was something that always interested me. Uh, I am a very hands-on type of person. I do believe if you have not touched the technology, it's very difficult for you to have a deep understanding of how to prevent it or how to defend it against attack. So that's why the ethical hacker course caught my attention and I decided to pursue that certification and I'm really glad I did it. As I was mentioning, as a cybersecurity leader, you must have a deep understanding, at least at an architectural or a method, method level of how cybersecurity attacks progress. And before you can have that understanding, you must understand the IT architecture underlying a digital presence of a company or a server. So the cybersecurity ethical hacking course really uh, provides you a thorough understanding of what is a three-tiered web architecture, what is a VPN, and then how do attackers, when they look at uh, a potential target, how they how do they go about discovering the assets how do they go get a foothold in the asset how do they then take that foothold to persistence and they take this persistence to propagate the attack all these stages in the attack of breaking the defenses of an organization are really an eye-opener for anyone and they really help you understand how attacks progress how do attackers think and then how what can you do to prevent those attacks what are the more important action items whenever you, you're preventing the assets, digital assets of an organization, how do you go about it? Is the web server more important uh, to prevent or is the backend database server more important to prevent? You gotta get all that understanding once you've done a certified ethical hack. When I look for a course, so I wanted, so I had some other certifications, but I wanted a certification that's hands-on. And when I looked around and did my research, I found that the Certified Ethical Hacker course is perhaps one of the most sought after and more respected certification in the industry. It allows you to get, although it, it, it has an optional practical test, but it's mainly based on reading and understanding concept and the then the test tests you on your understanding of those concepts. So the although the, the practical part is optional, the theory part or the MCQ multiple choice question test itself is a good proof that you have a, a, attained a good grasp on the ethical hacking concepts. So I think that's that's uh, that was a significant plus for me.
to read through that course material, understand it. And I could see why, uh, you know, this is one of the leading courses in the certification in the industry. So I think this is always a challenging question, right? Because uh, uh, on the receiving side, they don't tell you uh, whenever you're interviewing for a job or you're talking uh, for uh, to your manager uh, regarding a promotion, they will typically not share what convinced them. Uh, but what I can say though is that whenever you have a deeper understanding of ethical hacking, you can combine your business knowledge and your technical knowledge and explain to your interviewer or your manager how their assets are at risk and how your skills can help prevent that those assets if your concepts are clear if you've done that uh, that that uh, study that research that that practice yourself you're in a much better position to explain the value of cybersecurity and your experience how that can prevent a company or an organization keep their assets safe. So I be I feel that you know during my interviews, what I had learned and during the certified ethical hacking gave me a good background to carry out those very important conversations uh, with my interviewer or my manager. Because of this certification, I have uh, a very practical approach to my day-to-day -day work, uh, whether it is vulnerability management, risk management, uh, or just security operations. In all of these aspects, um, whenever there's a discussion around cybersecurity defenses, I always look at the attack tactics. I think about how would a hacker look at this? Uh, what in, in If they do attack, where is the crown jewels they'll go after and how will they uh, establish persistence? How will they establish recon? How will they establish remote control? And thinking through this from your day-to-day -day perspective makes, uh, you know, helps make decisions quickly and helps make decisions that reduce the overall risk. So I think it benefits me significantly in my day-to-day -day work. Having the knowledge makes me more enthusiastic about uh, sharing these concepts and sharing this knowledge with uh, the junior members of my team, as well as with academia. So um, I have uh, had the experience of uh, giving occasional lectures on cybersecurity in academia. Um, and uh, what I have learned during the Certified Ethical Hacking course I've also been able to propagate it during my lectures, during my presentations. So in a way, that knowledge has not been limited to me. I've spread it out across uh, different industries as well as academia. I think my favorite part was the masterclass and the, the fact that the labs associated with the course were so practical. They actually mimicked the actual attack setup in a very realistic way. There were servers set up for Linux uh, with uh, Windows, uh, endpoints, servers. And in the master class, I think the, the teaching, uh, the teaching uh, quality was outstanding. The labs were really hands-on. Any concept we discussed was also depicted in the lab itself by setting up the servers, setting up the attack, setting up the recon, showing different tools. I remember there was a very wide variety of attack and defense tools that were showcased in each of the labs. So I find the labs that were associated with the masterclass were really, really good quality. I feel that it's not easy to uh, to teach ethical hacking because uh, you know you need a whole setup, you need a sandbox, you need a lab where you can practice this. You can't just go around hacking people just to learn. So I think the fact that EC Council has set up a very uh, practical um, training, including strong labs, including a good instructor, including great um, teaching material is uh, is uh, a big accomplishment and i give kudos to easy lab for doing that easy council for doing that